Good morning, good morning, good morning. Today is Tuesday, October the 31st, 2023. Just doing a real estate tap in with you for today. Um, I saw an article today that says, in order to afford a, the median priced home in the country, you have to make just under $115,000. Now, don't know if that was gross or net, but I would imagine that would have to be net income. And so if you have to make about $115,000 net, you know, what do you have to bring in gross wise? And that was based on, you know, your home being about 30% of your income so when just a few years ago I think less than five years ago it was at 75,000 or right around 75,000 so you know it's just a, a big jump in a short amount of time and a lot of wages you know have not kept up you know with that type of pace to, to be able to buy a home so you know it is important that um, you know if you are you know in real estate and doing things in real estate to try to try to stay in these affordable markets I mean that's basically I think when I did the numbers at 30% you're looking at having to pay about $2,800 a month you know for your home and, you know, that's before all the, you know, other things that you have to pay for, you know, to keep the lights on, insurance, um, car payment, if you have one, you know, if you have kids, you know, the expenses with the kids. So, you know, it's getting really expensive or it is really expensive right now to be a homeowner. So, and that's why when we talk about real estate notes and things like that, we try to stay in affordable markets you know some of the Midwest the South things of that nature where you know the cost of living you know you're not having to pay three thousand dollars a month just to afford a home so you know that was just just surprising and like I said I mean you know hopefully you know there are two people in the household you know each making you know, a net of about 60, 65,000 a year to be able to, you know, afford, and that's just a medium size uh, house. And then obviously, depending on where you live, you know, can you really get those types of wages? But that's just something that really caught my eye. But that's another reason why, you know, we like notes is that we can focus on affordable markets you know, where you can get solid returns. And if something happens, you know, with the person in the property, you have a really good chance of being able to find someone else uh, to get into that particular property if, you know, things happen in somebody's life and they can't afford it or they need to do something else. The chances are you getting someone else to get in there is a lot greater because, you know, it's more affordable, so. You know, we have this deal in Texas that um, looks like we're going to pull the trigger on with the joint partner. And, you know, there's there's more out, out there like that. So, you know, if you're interested in learning about what we do, and how we put it together, you know, definitely reach out. Like I said, we try to stay in affordable areas. Um, so... You know, reach out if you'd like to know more. Or you can go to the YouTube channel, Abundant Capital Group. There's a bunch of videos there, you know, on how we create uh, the financing for end buyers. And uh, we use private money to be able to get into these deals and, you know, make people homeowners, you know, even during this particular time. So um, I won't be around probably for the rest of the week next few days um so 
if you want to catch me today at 12 30 you can do that and then also tonight 8 30 you know i'll just be answering questions talking about real estate notes um you know for about 30 minutes or so so if you want to join me here on instagram 12 30 eastern standard time or 8 30 p.m and then after that i'll be back uh next monday you know for the rest of the week have to uh you know take care of some stuff so hope to see you at 12 30 or 8 30 with your questions talk to you soon